Artists and musicians are welcoming a $175 million package from the government aimed at protecting the jobs of 90,000 people in the arts and music sectors. The Prime Minister made the announcement in Napier today where she's spending the long weekend announcing a job seekers programme and four new employment funds for the cultural sector. Anusha Bradley reports. Jacinda Ardern says the art sector has been decimated by the pandemic and without government intervention, 11,000 jobs could be lost. This is a sector that contributes to $11 billion to GDP, employs 90,000 people. Uh, and according to some of the forecasting we've had, this is also a sector that's twice as likely um, to be harder hit than the rest of the economy uh, because of COVID-19. She says the aim is to save as many of those jobs as possible possible. Today's money includes 8 million to help 2,000 artists find work over four years, 70 million to support creative projects, 60 million in a contestable fund to drive digital exports and 20 million to help artists sell their work. Napier artist Freeman White says the cash on offer today is a good step as a fund through Helen Clark's Labour government helped him make his way through the early stages of his career. It was absolutely fundamental to, to allowing me to um, spend the time that I needed when I was developing uh, my career. And so, you know, hearing this package uh, announced today, I just think it's super positive. But fellow artist Martin Popplewell is a bit more wary of what actually might be produced with this money. I don't know what it will produce other than stuff will undoubtedly be a very useful amount of money into injected into the arts and is that it will be the outcome could be a lot of very bad art. There's also sixteen million to support musicians creating new music and tours, which is now more possible as gatherings of up to a hundred people are allowed. And Miss Ardern is keen to get to her first gig. Nadia Reed's doing a gig with the uh, 100 number, uh, the 100 uh, limit on mass gathering, so I'd love to be able to support her. I know it's, it's been really tough for both hospitality but also our artists. She might have a hard time getting a ticket. Nadia Reed's gig sold out within five minutes of being announced this morning. But the musician says she's thrilled with the name drop and will sort something out for the Prime Minister if she still wants to attend as she's even more thrilled with the government's support for a sector that's really suffered. I mean, all of my touring was basically cancelled in a matter of, you know, 24 hours. And I, I feel that people, and myself included, are going to be much more mindful about where their money goes and, and what it supports. And, you know, I, I think the hospitality and, and musicians and small businesses are going to hopefully be feeling a lot of love in the coming months. The Prime Minister hopes that too, saying helping the arts helps the wider economy. Uh, someone who comes out to see a show is likely to use accommodation, to use transportation, to go and enjoy a restaurant, have a meal, be a part of the wider hospitality industry. So this is about making sure and supporting the creative sector that we are supporting a wider economy, our small businesses, our hospitality, uh, those who are in accommodation, those who are in tourism as well. There's also more good news for artists, with Jacinda Ardern saying it's very likely that more restrictions on mass gatherings will be lifted in the coming weeks. In Napier for Checkpoint, Anusha Bradley.